Do you have an e-commerce website or maybe a SaaS platform or maybe a simple business website? What if I tell you that you can now accept crypto payments on your website? Doesn't matter if your website was developed in WordPress or maybe in Magento or maybe you just developed your website from scratch in Next.js or in React. Now with just very few simple steps, you can add crypto as a payment gateway on your website. And then you can just start accepting crypto payments directly inside your crypto wallet. All of this is made possible by Cryptomus. Cryptomus is just like Stripe. It acts as a payment gateway and then you can process all of the payments from your website through cryptocurrency. Now, Cryptomus is just not a payment gateway. It is a complete end to end platform to do almost anything in crypto. But in this video, we'll just focus on the payment gateway part and I'll show you step by step that how you can add Cryptomus as a payment gateway on your website. By the way, I have created a complete open source Nexus project where I have already integrated Cryptomus into that project. You can just use that project as a demo. The link is provided in description. It's a GitHub repository and I have provided a very detailed guideline that how you can install this GitHub repository. So before we start and dive deep into this video, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button as well. All right, so to access Cryptomus, just go to Cryptomus.com or just click on the link in description and then you can just open this landing page. And in here you can see Cryptomus has all of these different features. You can directly buy crypto using your card. You can in fact trade as well. And, and then you can use Cryptomus for payments as well. In payments section, you can see there are different options. There is an option for mass payouts as well. You can do pay crypto into multiple wallets in bulk. And also there are plugins that makes it super easy to integrate Cryptomus into other third party platforms. There is this API section as well, but we'll explore all of these sections in a minute. First, you can just like sign up on Cryptomus using your Google account. So it's super easy and simple. You can see I'm already signed in. You can just sign in using your Google account. And after that, it will just need to verify your identity. In here, you can see my identity is verified. You can provide your driving license or maybe simply use passport or like any sort of like ID you can provide to verify that. So once you're logged in, simply just click on your profile option. Simply just click on the settings button button and now you can explore all of these different options from here for kyc verification you need to come to this section which is kyc verification and here it will ask you for your id just follow the on-screen guideline and your verification will be done once that is done the next thing that you need to do you need to create a business merchant account for that you can simply just click on this wallet icon from here and now you can select this business option from here simply just click on that and after that you can simply just click on this merchants icon from here so here is the merchant section it is very important to create a merchant in case you want to add Cryptomus as a payment gateway on your website because to add Cryptomus as a payment gateway on your website you will need to create an api key and a merchant id and so for that you just need to create a merchant account so just give your merchant account a name and after that simply just click on merchant and now you can see our merchant has been created now next thing is Cryptomus platform will review our merchant account and after that it will just like approve our merchant account that process takes around 24 hours so once that is done after that you can just like create an api key so once a merchant is created now you can simply just click on this payment by link and if you see on this top section there is this notification to create a payment link please pass moderation so cryptomus platform will review your merchant account and if they are satisfied then they will approve your merchant account if you just click on this leave a request button if you just click on that and here you can see we have two options the first one is website and the second one is telegram bot so if you are developing a website or maybe you are integrating cryptomus on your website so you can just like click on this website option in case if you're developing a telegram bot so you can then simply just click on this telegram bot and now you need to provide your telegram bot link but in my case i'm going to integrate cryptomus on my website so i can simply just provide my website link so i have got this domain name i have just provided that domain name and after that i can just enter my project name so i can just change it to the our sky and then simply just click on submit button it wants you to go to your domain name dns records and after that just add this record as a text format inside your domain name dns so here you can see this is my domain name i have purchased this domain name on hostinger maybe you have purchased your domain name on godaddy or maybe namecheap or any other domain name provider just go to your name server slash dns settings section just go there and after that inside this type section simply just choose txt and after that simply just provide that value value that it gave inside Cryptomus. So here is that value. Simply just copy it. Simply just click on this button, copy it and then paste that in here. And after that, simply just click on add record. I have already done that in my different merchant accounts. So here you can see this is my DNS record that I have just added in here. So I don't need to do that again. But once you do that, simply just click on check. And then after that, it will just verify your domain name and then it will add your domain name with this project. Once that is done and you simply click on this confirm domain button, that's it. Now next step will be moderation and now Cryptomus will take around 24 hours 
to review this merchant account and approve it okay once your project will be approved then you'll be able to create an api key and also you'll be able to use this merchant id right now you can see it is giving me this merchant id why do we need an api key and why do we need a merchant id i'm going to tell you that in next step but the first step was to configure all of these different details and set up everything for you so right now so far everything that you needed to do from the cryptomus dashboard you have already done that and now next step is to integrate this inside your website after 24 hours cryptomus has just approved my merchant account and now you can see it is active right now and here inside merchant settings you can find there is this payment api key you can just copy this api key and use inside your project and also you can copy this merchant id as well the reason why we did this step first to create like a merchant account and then to create an api key because we'll need all of these details on whatever platform we are going to integrate cryptomus now let's just move to the next step which is integration of cryptomus on different platforms so if you just look for cryptomus talks on google simply just click on that and now you can see uh, this is the cryptomus documentation so you can just open this documentation from here and after that you can then move to this section which is called modules simply just click on that and now here you can see cryptomus sports all of the these different platforms you can easily integrate cryptomus in all of these different platforms the most known platform here is woocommerce so if you have used wordpress and if you're developing an e-commerce website using wordpress so you definitely know about woocommerce so woocommerce is an e-commerce platform for wordpress and this is probably the most commonly used platform for e-commerce other than woocommerce you can also integrate cryptomus inside open cart or bill manager root panel even zenforo also on php shop on easy digital downloads as well and on magento as well and on big commerce as well so all of these are like famous e-commerce related platforms so you can integrate cryptomus in all of these platforms so let me just show you how you can integrate cryptomus inside woocommerce so if you just click on this view tutorial button from here and here you can see there is a very detailed tutorial uh, that how you can integrate cryptomus inside woocommerce it has all of these different screenshots as well but let me just quickly walk you through so the first step is you can simply just click on download as soon as you click on download button it will just download this wordpress plugin for you so this is the wordpress plugin that it has just downloaded now you can simply just install this plugin on your wordpress website so this is one of my wordpress website and if i just click on this plugin section and if i just click on this add plugin now i can just upload that plugin that i just downloaded from that cryptomus dashboard so i can simply just click on choose file and now i can just choose this file that i just downloaded from cryptomus dashboard if i just click on that now i'll simply just click on install now button i have already installed cryptomus plugin on my website so it will just like replace that existing you can see it is showing replace current with uploaded so i can simply just click on that and now it will just replace my current installation with this new one and here you can see my plugin has been installed i can simply just go back to my plugin section and here i can find my installed plugin here is cryptomus so you can find in here so to use cryptomus now on wordpress make sure that you have already installed woocommerce and now you can simply just go to this settings tab from here if you just go to settings tab inside woocommerce and now if you just go to payment section simply just go to payment section and here you can find different payment gateways and here you can see cryptomus is already active if it is not already active you will find an enable button in here simply just click on that enable button so cryptomus payment will be activated on your woocommerce the only step that you need to do you need to simply just click on this manage button and as soon as you click on that now it will open this configuration page for cryptomus and here you need to provide your payment api key this is the same payment api key that it will generate once your merchant account is verified so once your merchant account will be verified then you'll be able to create a payment api key right here inside merchant account and once you'll create your payment api key then you can just copy that and then you can just paste that api key in here the next step is to provide this merchant id so to get that you can simply just come back to your merchant account so inside merchant settings you can find your merchant id in here simply just copy this merchant id from here and then paste that merchant id in here so just the way i copied and pasted this merchant id in here you need to provide this payment api key as well and by the way if you just click on this documentation button in here you can just open this documentation page and here there is a very detailed guideline given in here for api key and after you provide your api key then you can just like add it as a short code 
on any of your pages it will also automatically show on your checkout page as well so the configuration for wordpress is super simple and super easy now configuration for your next yes project or maybe for your react project can be a bit tricky for that purpose i have already created a demo project for you i'll just walk you through that demo project right now and also on cryptomus documentation there is a very detailed documentation about how you can use cryptomus api key inside your react project or your next yes project so whatever tech stack you are using you can easily integrate cryptomus inside your project by simply just following the documentation from cryptomus dashboard so this is the project that i just created and here is the front end of this project i just created like a nice looking landing page for you guys and here are different products in different cryptocurrencies you can test payments in any of these different cryptocurrencies so if you just click on this pay with crypto if you just click on that now you can simply just click on this pay with usdc so if you just click on pay with usdc your user can make payment using usdc similarly you can test payments for eth for bitcoin for usdt and other cryptocurrencies let's try making payment on a live website right we can see my website is live i have just deployed my project on versal so this is versal this is basically a hosting platform and right now you can see i have just deployed this website in here and now let me just choose any of these products from here let's suppose this one let me just click on this pay with crypto and now it is asking me to pay with usdt if i just click on this and now it is going to open a proper crypto bus payment gateway page so now if i just like click on a network so i can just like choose any provided network so let's suppose because this was in usdt so it is showing me this any of these networks so i can make payment in any of these networks so then i can just simply click on this proceed to payment and now you can see now i can make payment using my card or my uh, this wallet which is wallet connect wallet this is the contract address and this is recipient's wallet address so you can simply just connect your crypto wallet from here you can see you can access all of these different kind of crypto wallets you can connect your wallet connect one inch wallet binance wallet coinbase and all of these different kind of wallets which are provided in here you can see there are hundreds of these wallets that you can simply just connect in here there is metamask as well so you can just like choose any of these wallets and then make payment using any of these different wallets now to set up this project just go to this github url i have already provided this link in description and then you can just clone this github repository there's a very detailed guideline in here i have added a simulation mode as well so let's suppose if your merchant account is not verified and you just want to simulate payments to make sure that everything is working fine so i have added that simulation mode as well so as soon as you clone your github repository you just install all of the dependencies for it next step is now you can just set up your environment variables so now i have created this sample dot env dot example file you just need to replace your values your environment variables in here the first thing is cryptomus api key that is the api key that you can create inside your merchant account the second thing is your merchant uuid that is your merchant id you just need to provide that and after that you need to provide your public url this will be your website that you just like added inside your merchant account so here inside this merchant account you can see there is this project url that we just added in here so you can just like copy it here and then paste it inside your environment variables and that's it that you can just like customize this project and then you can just like maybe deploy it on your own server now i created this project using ai without writing any sort of code i used augment code to develop this project you can use maybe Klein or kilo code or rue code or maybe cursor or windsurf any of these ai code editors you can just use any of those and after that you can just like provide the crypto must documentation and then just provide your api keys and provide your merchant id the rest will be handled by your ai code editors if you want to code it yourself or you don't want to use like ai or any sort of like ai code editors you can totally do that there is very detailed documentation on crypto must Website. so if you just go to doc.cryptomus.com simply just go to this link and after that you can just find a very detailed documentation from here all you have to do is just provide this link to your ai code editor in here you can see this is the prompt that i provided you are inside an access project i want you to integrate cryptomus as a payment gateway in this project here is a link to the documentation please go through all of the documentation pages so then i just provided it doc.cryptomus.com and also here is api key from cryptomus and also you need to provide your merchant id that's it rest will be handled by your ai code editor if you want to go through all of the documentation by yourself and then write code by yourself sure go ahead you can totally do that as i mentioned there is a very detailed documentation you can just like follow this documentation and then integrate cryptomus inside your website this is how easy and simple it is to integrate cryptomus on your website and then start accepting crypto payments if you have any further questions just leave your comments in the comment section i see you next video bye bye